Hey guys, Johnny LaSalle, the painter man, on the scene again. And this time, what we're going to talk about is this aluminum fascia board, as you see, going along the top of the, uh, of the side of this house, where it meets the roof, okay? As you all well know, uh, this is smooth. Uh, and uh, you can't really brush it otherwise you're gonna have to uh, at some point you're gonna have to stop and then continue where you were brushing and in the meantime since you're doing it in the Sun or semi Sun here uh, that's gonna start drying and then once you start painting up to it you can start dragging that paint across and it's gonna look terrible okay as you see on on these pieces of fascia board or fascia flashing is basically what it is you have seams and remember every time you're painting you have to go from you have to go from one end and there's a seam right there you got to stop at the seam don't go over because that's gonna start drying and if it's dry and then you start applying more paint you're gonna leave a flash mark they call that a flash mark okay so let me turn the camera around Hey guys, Johnny LaSalle. Good day to you. Uh, this is a happy Tuesday. And um, so I wanted to uh, sort of walk you uh, through what the procedure is in order to do this fascia. I'm going to do a close up so you guys can see. Um, one thing I wanted to mention is that some painters have already approached me and said thank you uh, for your contribution with information regarding procedures and, and how to do things. Because what it does, not only am I helping uh, the homeowner or the viewer uh, with ideas and, and probably some skills uh, that I'm teaching, uh, but it's also helping other painters who are evolving, who are uh, growing in the business. And it gives them ideas of what to do or how to do it. Okay, uh, in many cases you may be trained by a painter who doesn't have a lot of experience and next thing you know you're doing things the wrong way. You're creating bad habits and bad habits are hard to break once you're really deep rooted uh, into that habit. Okay, but you have to also understand that there's a lot of other painters out in the field who have been out in the field for a m much longer. And we have changed, we have evolved, we have learned, uh, we have observed other painters, how they do things, shortcuts and things of that sort. And then we sort of modify what we do based on the experience. That's what it's all about. It's about experience. Let me get up on the ladder. I wanted you guys to see the setup. You know, this is what happens. You can't just use a, 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 an extension ladder and go from one side to the other to the other because then what's going to happen is you're going to leave lap marks. But if you, if you set yourself up with a plank and two step ladders, in this case I have a 10 foot step and I have an 8 foot step over here, okay, then you're going to be able to uh, uh, comfortably do the whole piece and you're not going to have a lap mark. It's going to look good. It's going to look professional. Okay, remember the sheen that I'm using is a satin finish on a smooth, you know, on smooth sheet metal. Okay, so let me get up on the ladder, bear with me. I wish I had a cameraman, I really do. Oh boy, Johnny LaSalle, the painter man, is getting old. Okay, so this is what's going on here. This is all done. This this piece here is done. Okay, I just completed this piece. What I'm what I'm gonna do here, okay, here's the, the roof line. This is Azac. We're not gonna paint this. This is gonna remain that way. Uh, this, believe it or not, this product is gonna outlast this whole house. Okay? That's how good Azac is. So I'm gonna start on this end, I'm gonna cut this in, and then I'm gonna cut this flashing. See, I don't wanna paint that flashing. We don't want to, we want to leave that like that. So I'm going to take my two and a half inch sash brush and I'm going to cut along this, okay, all the way to the end, okay? And then I'm going to come back. I have a four inch roller, okay? And it's a quarter inch nap, which is one of the thinnest. I could have gone 316, but I didn't want to go 316. 316 is, is probably a little too dry. 
okay I wanted to be able to put paint here and then and send roll it and I mean uh, put paint on and roll it back and forth and leave a little stipple sort of like if it was sprayed that's the effect that I that I'm wanting okay I sprayed the body here and like I mentioned in my other video I used a uh, 208 tip which is the finest airless tip that we can get without having to go into uh, the HVLP which is high volume low pressure pr uh, spraying system alrighty okay Johnny LaSalle bear with me I usually hold my pot I usually hold my pot as you all know I've been teaching you guys I've been teaching you guys you only hit the brush on one side you don't need to keep wiping and a lot of painters keep wiping all around the other the rim and then they put the, pa the brush into the paint and then lean it next thing you know you're getting paint all over the handle all over your fingers then all over your arms all over your hair your face next thing you know a bug lands on your face and you're scratching your face you're getting paint all over it no stay away from that okay Johnny LaSalle here we go so you're, I'm putting paint here. Hopefully you can see the sun is right in my eyes. I'm working in the sun so I have to be efficient. Efficient with my time. Okay, so I'm, I got a, a brush full of paint, see? I had to get a little, little paint inside that area right here. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Okay, now I'm gonna come over here so that's in the shaded area a little bit okay now I'm gonna run along that ridge oh I'm losing I'm losing my focus here okay so I'm going along the ridge see no tape there's no tape involved this is a sash brush two inch sash brush this product as I mentioned before this is duration this is Sharon Williams duration and added to that duration, you got the emulsibon. Emulsibon is what's going to allow this to dry up and really bond to that surface that's, that's non-porous. You see, guys? You see that ridge right there? Where are we? Okay, right here. Don't wanna, you want to you wanna sort of soften that edge. You don't want to leave it real thick. I'm working in the sun right now. I'm working in the sun. I'm trying to focus and trying to cut in and do the camera I wish I had one of those cameras maybe somebody will donate some company will donate something for me maybe we can start a show someday love to do that sort of like this old house instead it's gonna be painter man's day my show is gonna be called painter man's day okay I'm walking on this plank. I usually don't bend over. I always hold my pot in my hand. You want to keep it close. A lot of painters do this. They, they sort of bend over, put the pot on the floor. Okay, so here's a seam. See, I'm not going any further. I'm not going any further on that seam, guys. Okay, soften that cut. Soften that cut because we're in the sun. Okay, now I'm going to switch over to my roller. Here's my roller. I got a four inch, see? I told you. Four inch roller. And the hair, quarter inch nap. So you see, it's gonna be heavy right here. You're not gonna start, you're not gonna start in the corner. You start in the middle and work towards the corner. By the time you work towards the corner, the roller is empty. You don't want, you don't want to start right in the corner. A lot of people do that. Oh my God. Stop, learn, okay? So make sure you don't leave any roller tail. See, that's a roller tail. We don't want that. Okay, so you have to keep that even. Keep it even. Okay, so I went all the way up to the seam. I'm not going to go anymore. And then underneath here, I got to do this little edge. See this little edge? Okay, and you only go to the seam. That's it. Try not to get it on the soffit. That soffit is plastic. I don't, I don't want to paint that. The reason why I'm painting this bottom is because the water is gonna come right off that roof and we don't want water trickling down and then getting underneath here. So we want the surface completely covered. 
That's what we want today. Covered. Coverage. Okay. Ooh, I got little friends over here, guys. Hey, look at that. That's what you want to stay away from. See those guys right there? Okay, they're huddled together. It's kind of cold. <laughs> See them? They're not my friends. I'll tell you that. Those guys will fly at you. You gotta be careful. I'm, I'm, I'm taking my life in my own hands without. And for people who are highly allergic, a sting like that, a sting from that insect right there, will, will, will sour your day. You're gonna be rushed to the hospital and get yourself shot up with epinephrine. Sorry to hear that. If that happens to somebody. My ex-wife was highly allergic. I didn't believe her until one day. The medics had to come for her. Poor thing. And, and bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Bear with me. Now, okay, so now we're going to do the other section. I'm going to start right here, see? Okay, let me go get some paint. Got some paint. I have it this time. I have it hanging off a pot hook, a swivel pot hook. Works perfect. The side of the ladder. Here we go. Johnny LaSalle and his cutting. Okay, go back and forth, back and forth. Soften that cut line. Soften it up and get more paint. Right here, more paint. Right up. You're cutting it in, cutting it in. Oh yeah, like butter. Okay, so that's it. You just cut in. That's it. For now, I'm just gonna lean my brush there. I'm gonna grab the roller. I already, I already put paint on this roller. So, like I said, guys, you're gonna start. You're not gonna start at the seam. You're not gonna start at the end. You're gonna start in the middle. Okay, middle, right there. You're gonna start emptying out that roller. Spread it out. Don't leave it all clump up in one place. Okay. So here, see, I stopped right there. I don't want to go over. That's already drying. And this is this this is a, 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 a satin finish, so it has sheen to it. See, it has a little stipple. We're okay with a stipple. We're okay with that stipple like that. Okay. Now we do the underneath. Enough paint to go. I got enough paint to go. Do three lengths of this stuff. Okay. Don't get any on the soffit. It looks sloppy. Okay, go all the way to the end. Over here, I'm gonna do that. Because I can. Okay, all right. So I'm at the end, right? But I also have this corner piece to do right here. All right, I have enough paint. I don't wanna put any more paint on that roller. So. Take a little paint with my brush. Right here, I'm gonna cut this in. This, I want it painted also. Okay. I want this painted. That's getting painted, I did the bottom. That's getting painted. I'm gonna get some paint on this right there. You see, you use the top edge of that sash brush. You sort of shove the, the bristles in there, see? Shove it in. Shove it in, and then you pull down, sort of level it off, see? Soften that line. This is vertical, you never go horizontal. You're gonna leave stuff like that. Those lines, once they dry up, it's gonna be seen. You don't want it sloppy, you wanna look professional. So you do vertical lines. Okay, I don't need to go any lower, all right? Because now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll all that all the way down, okay? Turning the sound on the scene. Guys, I'm telling you, I'm gonna have a show someday. I'm optimistic, that's, that's, that's what's gonna be my calling. We're gonna teach people how to do this stuff. I just need a producer, somebody who's interested in a network who believes in Johnny LaSalle and his experience. For real, I'm talking, I'm not talking, just, to, I'm just talking, I'm telling you. This is how it's gonna happen. I'm putting my time in. 
I'm gonna be I'm gonna do the I'm gonna be the instead of Johnny Vila, I'm gonna be Johnny LaSalle. Johnny LaSalle the painter man. Notice the LaSalle. It's the it's the same name as the university. LaSalle College. LaSalle the car, the Cadillac. I have a famous name and I don't even know it. French Puerto Rican guy. Speaking three languages, English, Portuguese, and Spanish. Spanish from Puerto Rico, Portuguese from Brazil. All right, so you're getting to know Johnny LaSalle little by little. Okay guys, so much for, <laughs> so much for the history. So that's it, see? What do you guys think, see it? All right, so that piece is done. And that, I mean, without the talking involved, that probably took about a good uh, seven minutes, if that. It could have been five, all right? So now I'm going to swing around to the other side of the house, which is a, just a large gable end on that end. So, but I wanted to give you a little demonstration just on that little piece, okay? We're right in front of Lake Williams today in Marlboro, Massachusetts. It's a beautiful site, okay? But, um, so I got to go. I got to get busy. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And um, let's be good to one another. Let's bless people. Let's do things without expecting things in return. Okay? You take care. I'll talk to you soon. I'll switch the camera around as I always do. You take care.